Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add photos, messages, and extra costs through the InfraSpeak mobile app. Log into your account on your mobile phone. And once you're logged in, head over to the work orders. In the work orders, you can then select the work order you want to edit and click on it. Once you are in your work order, to add photos to the work order, all you have to do is scroll down to Documents and Photos and click on that one. A brief message may appear requesting access to photos, media, and files on your device. Select Allow. And then to add a photo, click on the bottom right-hand corner. And you can then select the type of document, photo, or file you want to add. Once the photo has been added, it will appear on the documents list within the work order. Add a message through the mobile app. So we head back to our main menu on our app. We go once again back into work orders. We select the work order we want to edit. And click on that one. Once we are in our work order, we can then scroll down to the no messages tab. And here you may add a text by clicking on write message. Just a quick side note, by clicking on the lock means that uh, your messages are blocked. So when, if the lock is closed, it means that these messages are private and they can only be seen by users, admins, managers, and technicians that are associated to this work order. If your little locket is unlocked, as you see there, uh, it means that your messages are public and they may be seen by other users or contacts and are also visible on our InfraSpeak Direct platform. Okay. And once you have typed and sent a message, so I'm going to give you a little example here. It will appear in the message section within the work order. And as you can see there, our little message box. Perfect. How to add extra costs through the mobile app. So once again, we're back on our main menu. And if you head on over to work order, and you select the work order that you would like to edit. You can then scroll down to other costs, select that one. And then here you can click on the green bar, which says add costs. And before adding the cost itself, you may select the type of cost you want to add. So it can be anything from materials, meals, parking, stays, travel, um, etc. Once you've selected your cost type, for example, material, you can then add the value that you need. For example, you can also add a description. And once you've done so, you can save the costs. And that will be automatically added onto your list. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.